So what does the perfect downswing actually look like? One instructor tells you you need to lag the club. The next one says you need to release it. It's confusing. Today we're going to end that confusion and I'm going to show you exactly how to release the golf club and more importantly, how you can practice it. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And I feel for you out there. I feel for my amateur golfers because there's a lot of confusion on the downswing. A lot of great information on the backswing, but when it comes to downswing where we actually hit the ball, you're being told a lot of different things. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the two most common things that are being taught. I'm going to show you what I believe you should do. And like I already said, I'm going to show you how you can practice that. So number one is a lot of people are being told you got to create lag. You want Now what is lag? Well lag is basically in today's, what we're going to talk about today, is the difference between where the handle is at and the club head. So, when the club, when the handle is down here and the club head is high, that's a lot of lag. The opposite of a lot of, a lot of lag would be this. The club head is low, the handle is high, right? That's, people call that casting. So a lot of instructors, I'll even see this, okay? I'll see this, I'll see people in the driving range. They come out here and they're doing, this is a popular move right now. They take it up and they start doing this. I see a lot of this going on, okay? I don't, know what, I don't know why they're doing that, but maybe it's working for them, and if it is, I'm happy for them. But this move where they try to create a ton of lag, okay, especially for what I like to call my experienced golfers, is a really tough thing to do, and also it requires a ton of rotation and a ton of body movement. But this is what they call by creating a lot of, a lot of lag, all right? Now the other thing, that a lot of golfers are doing that is incorrect is they're actually doing the opposite of that. They are casting the club too early. So they get set in here and they cast the club. Now what type of shot does that typically produce? Thin, uh, not much power, uh, very little divots, and typically a high right ball flight. All right, so those are the two things that I'm typically seeing. Now what is it that you want to do? What you want is you want this club head right here you want it reaching its maximum speed at the moment of impact. I'm gonna repeat that. Maximum speed at the moment of impact. So when you hit the ball, okay, that club head is accelerated and the handle and the club head have basically reached the ball at the same time. So it looks something like this. Let me go ahead and hit a shot and then we're gonna talk about how you can do that. Okay, pretty solid right there, right? Maybe pulled it a little bit but hopefully that had my maximum speed at the moment of impact. Now, how do we practice that? Well, when I practice that with my students, I like to use a product here, it's called the plane slider. I use it for a lot of things. One, I'll use it for grip, it's got a form grip on there. And it's also, it's heavier, so I like it actually for building, um, I think sometimes when we swing a club that's a little heavier, it, it, uh, it makes the feeling a little bit more exaggerated, so I, I like that, but we're talking about how to get the downswing where we want it to be. So it's got this slider on it. Okay, so when we swing the club back, okay, I'm just assuming you've got a pretty good backswing, but when we swing it back, we want to what we call load the shaft. Okay, so if you're gonna have a good downswing, you've, you've gotta have a good backswing. So when we swing it back, okay, you'll see how that kind of drops or what we call slides down the shaft. That's what we call loading it. Now if I take it too far inside, notice the slider doesn't go down. Okay, so this video is not specifically about the backswing, but if you use a plane slider, I want you to know that it should drop and fall right there. Now, we talked about those two types of motions. Those who have too much lag, those who cast. So what does that look like? Well, with the plane slider, they swing it back, it pops. Now if you've got too much lag, it just stays there. See how it never comes off? And then it comes off over there. Now that, notice where it released. Okay, let me do it again because you're, you're going to see a similarity between somebody with too much lag and an early release, okay? You probably never heard this before. So there it goes, right? And if they hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, right? Now it's starting to slide off, boom. Okay, because keep in mind that when this slides down, much like when I was hitting a shot myself, that's when it's reaching maximum speed. Now, the person who releases it too early looks like this. Hopefully they got a good backswing. And there's, slides too early there, see? Good backswing, cast, weak, thin, high, right. 
But the key to notice right here, and this is the whole premise of the video, this is where the gold is at. This has got to release at the moment of impact. So those people who release it late, too much lag, they're not gonna have the distance that they're capable of. Those who release it too early, they're going to lack distance. So how do we create the perfect balance right there? Well, here you go. When you set up, get it to load, and what you're gonna feel is, I'm gonna go slow. See how released right there? That's what I wanna feel, boom. So I'll do this with my student a couple times to get the feel, boom. And I want them to feel the slider right there. Then I'll just add some speed to it. So all right, here we go, load it, release it, good, load it. Release it, good. One more time, I love doing three setters. You know this if you've watched any of my videos. Boom, okay, then I'll grab my club. I've got the feel now. I've got the feel. One of the things I love about, I love about the plane sliders is my club feels light now. I feel like I can really get it going. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to replicate that feel. Oh yeah, see, because the club felt light. I felt like I could release it and snap it right there. So, the key to a good downswing is not only how you release it, cast it, lag it and drag it, but when you release it, that's the key secret. With the plane slider, it's easy to do. So you want more distance, you want to improve your contact, you got to learn to release that club so the club had as maximum speed at the moment of impact.